Welcome to Threshold. Thanks for joining us today. You're going to have a great time. Before we get started, we've got to go through a couple of quick things in orientation. Climbing is a thrilling and rewarding sport. However, it's important to remember that there are always inherent, unforeseen, and other risks present. All visitors are responsible for their own well-being and the well-being of any accompanying minors in their care. All visitors, including non-climbers entering the climbing area, must first sign a visitor agreement. Anyone under the age of 18, including infants, must have their parents or legal guardians sign their visitor agreement. You can find the visitor agreement on our website or on the tablets near the front desk. Also, don't forget to check in at the front desk before entering the climbing area. Climbing is a very entertaining sport to watch. If you are spectating today, we ask that you do not walk on any of the padded surfaces or climb any walls. The rules are posted throughout the facility. Familiarize yourself with the rules before participating. Bouldering is a type of climbing that does not involve harnesses or ropes. Bouldering areas are identified by shorter 13 to 16 foot climbing walls. They also have thicker padding at the base of the climbs and route tags stating the V scale. The grading system starts at VB, then goes to V0, V1, and higher. With each number higher, the routes get exponentially harder. All routes in the gym are set by color. There are increased risks associated with bouldering. All falls are ground falls in bouldering. Climbers can and will fall while bouldering. Falls may result in injury. Injuries can be severe. Holds can spin or break. And there are many other unforeseen risks. Learning how to properly fall is very important. When falling, be sure to inspect your landing, bend your knees and elbows, pull in your arms, roll to the ground, letting the floor absorb the impact. Let's touch on a few other considerations while bouldering. Street shoes are not allowed on the pads. Pads should always be free of any objects. Never place chalk bags, water bottles, phones, or any other object on the pads. Climbers should always be aware of their surroundings. Do not climb above, under, or near other climbers. Always look out for your fellow climbers. Before beginning to climb, it is important to remember that climbers on the wall have the right of way. Do not sit, stand, walk, or congregate near or around potential landing zones. Youth may have a reduced awareness of risks involved with climbing, and therefore must be supervised by a responsible adult at all times. It is recommended that climbers only climb as high as they are comfortable and capable of falling with proper technique. It is also recommended that climbers down climb rather than jumping off the wall. Spotting is not required and in some cases can increase the risk for the climber as well as the spotter if not performed properly. Spotters should seek qualified instruction first. Threshold offers several options to climb on our 50-foot walls. You can choose to use the auto blaze, top ropes, or lead climb in these areas. You must always be on belay when climbing in these areas, and a harness is required to clip in or tie in. Before you can access any of the roped areas, it is required that you receive a certification tag. A Threshold Certified Climbing Wall Instructor must issue a certification. We offer classes if you want to learn how to use the auto blaze, the top ropes, or the lead ropes. If you already have the skills to auto blaze, top rope, or lead climb, get with an instructor and you can take a proficiency test at any time to become certified. Only Threshold Certified Wall Instructors are allowed to instruct in the facility. Remember, in order to climb in the tall area, you must first pass a proficiency test. 
Upon getting your certification, you will get a certification tag that must be visible on your harness at all times while climbing on the tall walls. Remember that climbing is dangerous and involves inherent, unforeseen, and other risks. Observing the practices demonstrated in this video does not guarantee that you will be free from harm. If you have any questions about risks, your responsibilities, facility rules, bouldering, rope climbing, or anything else, please ask a staff member. Thank you for joining us today at Threshold.